good morning all of you now we are in the section of total surface area of solid shapes okay uh, we already run, done three questions and la fourth question i give you as homework from exercise 11.3 fourth question i gave you as homework i hope all of you done if anybody have doubts just listen how you can do uh, Rakshar painted the outside of the cabinet of measure 1 meter by 2 meter by 1.5 meter. How much surface area did she cover if she painted all except the bottom of the cabinet? Okay, uh, the bottom of the cabinet need not be painted. So, all other parts she painted. So, what we want to find out? We want to find the total surface area of the cuboid shape except one face the bottom face we want to avoid okay bottom face and top face we are take, taking its area will be bottom face area will be what uh, length into breadth so from the total surface area that equation we know 2 into lb plus bh plus lh okay one face we want to avoid from this section this is the area of the bottom and the area of the top also length into breadth so here the bottom face need not be painted so from this 2 into lb we can avoid 1 lb okay so how we can find out the total surface area l into b okay plus then this all parts you want to find out its area 2 into bh plus lh okay this for LB, no need not be find out one phase. So, we can avoid in this case, two we can avoid. Only we want to find out the area of the top surface. That will be LB only. Including top and bottom, we are taking this two into LB. So, one phase we want to avoid for finding its total surface area because the bottom surface need not be painted. Then, if we find out the total surface area you using this then we will get the answer okay l we know here take l is equal to 2 meter b breadth is equal to 1 meter and height is equal to 1.5 meter then substitute the values in this you will get the answer okay that you want to care which part you want to avoid that you want to be uh, we take you according to the question we want to decide Okay, here in the question it is asked, it is not, need not, it is, need not be painted the bottom surface. So, that part we can avoid from this equation. Okay, bottom surface and the uh, top surface is LB. So, one bottom surface we can avoid, then it will be only 1 LB. Uh, we can avoid that too. Just like, next question you look, fifth question, Daniel is painting the walls and ceiling of a Cuboidal hall with length, breadth and height is given 15 meter, 10 meter and 7 meter respectively. From each can of paint, 100 meter square of area is painted. How many cans of paint will she need to be painted the room? Okay, Daniel is painting the walls and ceiling of a cuboidal hall. It is a cuboidal hall. There also listen the question, read the question 5. Okay. Question number 5 we are discussing. So, in this case also, which parts are uh, painting? Ceiling and walls. Ceiling and walls to be painted. Need not be painted the floor. Floor we can avoid. So, in this case also we can avoid that 1 LB. L into B we can avoid. Okay, bottom surface we can avoid. In this case also we are finding the so surface area like this L into B plus 2 into LH plus BH. Then substituting the values L is given here 15 meter and B is given how much 10 meter and H is given 7 meter. Okay then substitute the value 15 into breadth is how much 10 plus 2 into calculation also you want to care well use the bracket otherwise the, it will be mistake calculation will be mistake 2 into LH plus LH 15 into H is 7 plus BH 10 into 7 okay so 15 into 10 150 plus 2 into 15 into 7 105 plus 10 into 7 
seventy. Then one fifty plus two into one hundred five plus seventy one hundred seventy five. It will be equal to one hundred fifty plus three hundred fifty. That is equal to five hundred meter square. So the area of the uh, wall and the uh, ceiling we find out to five hundred meter square. Then what is the question asked here? From each can of paint, hundred meter square of area is painted. Okay. From one can of paint, how much area she can paint? Ah, uh, hundred meter square she can paint. Here we want to find out how many cans of paint she needs to paint the room. Okay. If it is one can, from one can if she paint hundred meter square, so what is the Number of cans needed. Number of cans needed will be equal to from the total area we are dividing hundred for because for using one can we can paint hundred meter square. So the number of cans needed will be five. Okay, just like another question number six. Describe how the two figures at the right are alike and how they are different. Which box larger? Which box has larger? Lateral surface area. In the question, it is given two figures are given. Okay, one is this cylinder and another one cube. Okay, describe how they are alike. In which case they are alike? Similarities for which uh, both have the same height, seven centimeter, and how they are different? They are the shapes are different. That is, you see, one is cylinder and another is cube. And also, we want to find out which box has larger lateral surface area. What is mean by lateral surface area? Uh, so, in the case of this cylinder, if you take that cylinder, okay, if it is cylinder, lateral surface area means this curved face only. This is base and top. Okay, this face is called the lateral surface area. In the case of a cube, also, okay, if it takes this as a cube. Then these side faces are called lateral surface. Okay, lateral surface and the top and the bottom. All solid shapes we can find out like that: the lateral surface and the top and the bottom. Now, in the given figure, it is uh, we want to find out the lateral surface area of the both solid shapes. Okay, in the case of the cylinder. What is what is the lateral surface area that we already find out? The lateral surface area will be, ah, uh, which is two pi r into h that we find out. Okay, that is when we open this figure, we will get a rectangle shape. This part when we open, we will get a rectangle shape, and its length will be two pi r, and breadth will be height. Using the equation of uh, area of a rectangle, we can find out the lateral surface area will be. Two pi r into h. Okay, using that we can find out the lateral surface area of the cuboid. Here r is given how much? Diameter is given seven. So r will be uh, diameter is given seven. So r will be three point five and height also given seven. Substitute the value here. Two into for pi we can take the value decimal value when we take it will be three point one four and uh, fraction value will be. Twenty-two by seven into r, three point five into h seven. So when we calculate this seven and seven, we can cancel and two into twenty-two into three point five, we will get one hundred fifty-four centimeter square. Okay, the lateral surface area of the uh, cylinder we will get one hundred fifty-four centimeter square. Same way. We want to find out the lateral surface area of the cube also. Okay, so if it is a cube, lateral surface area means the side faces area, total area. Avoid top and bottom. So if one face we know, if the, what is the area of the one face of a cube? It will if one side is a, its area will be a square. Just like how many lateral faces are there? Four faces are there. So it will be four a square. So lateral surface area, total lateral surface area of a cube will be four a square. That is equal to four into okay 
a is given one side is given 7 so 4 into 49 it will be 196 centimeter square so which uh, shape have more lateral surface area the cube has larger lateral surface area okay then next question a closed cylindrical tank of radius 7 meter and height 3 meter is made from a sheet of metal how much sheet of metal is required this also cylindrical shape a closed cylindrical tank so that tank is closed so we want to find out the whole surface area okay need not be avoid any uh, face if, if, if it is a hollow cylindrical then we want to avoid one top part here it is given closed cylindrical so all faces we want to take so its radius is given 7 meter radius 7 and height is given how much 3 meter then what is how much sheet of metal is required so we need to find the total surface area of the uh, which shape cylindrical shape what is the total surface area of the cylinder 2 pi r into r plus h don't forget the equation then substitute the value here 2 into 22 pi we can take 22 by 7 and mostly it is uh, easy to take a fraction form most uh, radius will be given the multiples of 7 so that 7 and 7 will be cancelled 2 into 22 by 7 into what is r radius is given 7 and r plus h okay 7 plus 3 uh, using that calculation you can find out the total surface area okay that calculation also just listen 2 pi r into r plus h 2 into pi with 22 by 7 into r is given 7 into r plus h 7 plus 3 very easy calculation this 7 and 7 we can cancel so 2 into 22 44 44 into 7 plus 3 10 440 meter or centimeter meter square so this way we can find out all the questions so three more questions are remaining that you try to do as homework question number 8 9 10 read the question well then you can find out what is the which part of the area we need to find out then try to find out if any doubt i will clear in the next class okay thank you